at a Washington DC farmer's market. The food looks good, but is it safe? From farmer's markets to supermarkets, across the country, some shoppers are worried. The worry is getting more. People are beginning to worry more, being more concerned, because it's more in the news. I'm normally very confident in the safety of the food I'm buying. Certainly if I hear about something in the news, I might be more aware about a particular outbreak. Worries peaking after this year's listeria outbreak from the Bluebell Creameries in Texas, which sickened 10 people in four states. Now the nation's disease detectors, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, are expanding a pilot program to try to combat food poisoning outbreaks by decoding the DNA of potentially deadly bacteria and viruses. When we started this pilot project, we were testing all the listeria strains from sick people here at CDC. Moving forward this month, uh, we are going to begin the process of transferring this technology to state health departments with 10 pilot states. Food poisoning is deadly and costly. The CDC says about 48 million get sick every year from it and about 3,000 die. The initial testing target, listeria, the third leading cause of death from food poisoning. We are finding three times as many outbreaks as we found before, and we're finding them when they're smaller. With genome sequencing becoming faster and cheaper, the CDC is armed with $30 million from Congress to broaden its use. By testing the DNA of the bacteria from people all over the country, we may find that people in totally different places are infected with exactly the same bacteria. If we can figure out what it is that they have in common and show that, yes, that was the source of the infection, we can find an outbreak even when it's very small. In the next few years, the CDC plans to roll out whole genome sequence technology to more states, covering more germs. In the future, we'll begin doing it for E. coli, which is somewhat more common. And within two years, we plan to do it for salmonella, which is very common. Genome sequencing also promises to reveal drug resistance more quickly how virulent a germ is and to track how it's spreading from one person to another through tiny genetic changes that act like footprints. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.